So I'm here uh, reading from uh, Greg Palace's uh, newest home newest work, uh, How Trump Stole 2020. And, you know, here's the thing. Why not just take a piece of water here? Uh, I take water in the mornings, you know. And what I'm realizing about this is not true. Let me not be disingenuous. I knew this a long time ago. When, when Trump first started doing this thing, when he first, you know, got elected, first thing I said is ignore this guy. <laughs> ignore him completely. It started with this whole thing with go back to when he was doing the, the birth of thing with Barack Obama, right? Now, if so much time and energy was expended on trying to prove him wrong or right or whatever have you. It's unbelievable. You know, he he makes you go down rabbit holes. I don't even call them rabbit gopher holes. <laughs> he makes you he makes you a gopher. He makes you go down gopher holes. Then you up here trying to prove it, disprove some absurdity. When you have to realize the source where it comes from Donald Trump is is is, is an absurdity. <laughs> here, let me give you, let me give you an example here, right here. <laughs> it's, uh, this early on in the book. It says uh Rutgers professor, oh, I went I went to Rutgers. Well, I went to Livingston College called Rutgers University before they well, before they dismantled it because why? Because too many, you know, too many young, you know, downtrodden people were getting degrees and then we would go on to other things and then we would well we would you know, the system don't like that. Meanwhile, you know, Trump went to then he went to a warden school or something like that, one of those financial schools and all that stuff. Oh, oh whatever. Rutgers professor Lorraine uh, Minette. Uh, the nation's top voter fraud expert found just six verified cases of voter impersonations in over 12 years of our nation's elections. So, so here you got Trump <laughs> chasing people or the or Republicans making people chase people about voter fraud when you know it ain't real. So he spent all that energy doing that versus spending energy doing something else. You see how they work? Well, this is a problem because once you gave, once you gave uh, Mr. the the drunk man the, the the megaphone to to put him on the let him have the levers, then you know everybody. <laughs> thank goodness I shouldn't say yeah yeah. Thank goodness that he's uh, he's laid up for the, it's a, now it's less than two weeks. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I guess they still focus on him, but it's unbelievable. I just don't see how can intelligent people. Understand, not understand what's going on, how it's, how it's, how the game is played. Anyway, uh, Caltech, MIT, uh, let me say, uh, uh, the, the Election Law Journal, there's such a thing, reported that improper, that uh, proportion, the proportion of population reporting uh, voter impersonations is indistinguishable from that reporting abductions <laughs> by extraterrestrials. Of course, that's, that's, um, Greg Powell's putting some humor in his stuff, you know what I mean? But you know, ever notice all these folks, they focus, you know, they focus on, you know, minorities being whatever, disenfranchised. They focus on a bunch of other things. And sometimes I think, you know, they want you to vote, to remember, remember vote. Um, and, and but the funny thing about these other things that they focus on is all uh, for the downtrodden and, they're, you know, for, for black people, whatever have you. No, ain't no, no shade on Greg Powell's. I love Greg, you know? Hey, I know the boy, you know? Um, uh, but what happens is it, 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 it emboldens, you know, those, those, uh, I say, uh, say Trump supporters who are never mentioned except for negative things, they get even more entrenched. Right? I mean, that, um, at some particular point, you know, I guess li maybe it's liberals. Somebody gets sick of just hearing about black people, this and black people that are, even though they, they, you know what I'm saying? So, so it's, it's a weird, I think there's a sort of a backlash or whatever have you. I'm, I'm waiting for elections for one simple reason. Well, first of all, my strategy is very simple. You know what I mean? Well, I can't vote for either one of them, but my trial is very simple. I vote down ballot, but in such a, to get to the root, in other words, even if you, if you say, oh, this president's going to um, elect, you know, put, put up some, some pre-court person that's against whatever, whatever. Well, they all come from the same the same cloth, but does it matter? But the person that really puts them in is the Senate. So you should be voting for senators that agree with you. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you vote down ballot, because by the time they get up top, 
it's all over anyway. So, so, so that's the point. So, uh, so, so the point, if you want to do something, you know, you got to work at the bottom. That's what the Republicans have done for the years and years and years. They could do the state assemblies, the the, the, the functionaries on the ground, the people that put lawn signs, <laughs> the, the, the lawn signs up. Those are the people that you want to, that you want to talk to. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, I just thought I'd just put, put that up because you're wasting your energy if you try to vote up. The, the one thing you want to do is you don't want to you don't want to vote for for, for president if you, uh, um, or the top of the ballot if you're in uh, in a state that's thorough that you know is red or blue because you don't want to give them the popular vote. That's my clarion call uh, right now. So just you know, just just think about that when you when you start voting and, and stuff like that. I, I say write in uh, ados101.com or write in uh, producejustice.com. Either one of those write in up top. Then, but pay attention to those judges and those sheriffs and all, all down ballot. That's what you want to do. This little message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to today, letting you know what I only suspect.